Hi everyone, today we are going to be discussing fall fashion trends 2021. If you're new here, then hi, hello, welcome. My name is Laurel, and if you're not new here, then welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited for all of you guys to be here today. Fall season is coming upon us, and I am so, so excited. I love fall season. I know it is a really, really short season because it gets really cold really fast, but I love the fashion that comes with it. I love the drinks and the treats and just everything about fall season and the smell of pumpkin and leaves. If you're familiar with any of my fashion trends video, I have the spring fashion trends and I have the summer fashion trends. You'll know that I put the pictures as reference so that you guys know what I'm talking about. I have quite a lot of things to mention. These are fashion trends that I've seen all over the internet, all over the runways. Or even fall trends from last year that will still kind of continue its way into this year's season. Now, of course, you don't have to follow every single one of these trends to be on trend or to be stylish. You know, you can wear absolutely anything you want. I just love talking about current trends and taking inspiration from it and kind of, you know, putting it into my own style and my own twist. And that's obviously what I want for you guys to get out of this video. You can either follow all the trends or just follow a couple that you really, really like, which is what I normally do. Or you just want to watch and see what's going on in the fashion world, what I think is going on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start talking about the fall fashion trends 2021 edition. So the first fall fashion trend that I think is going to be really, really popular and it's already starting right now and it is the saturated bold colors. I've seen a lot of royal blues, bold mustard yellows, I've seen fuchsias, lilac, like all types of colors but bolder, brighter. It's not neon specifically, you'll see it on the pictures that I'm showing. It is just a lot more vibrant in color and I just love seeing them into sets like I've seen a lot of royal blue and emerald green blazer sets and I think those look so so dope. Another color that I have been seeing a lot lately, specifically in bags and dresses, is any shade of silver. I think those are going to be really popular coming up especially during the winter season when it's more holidays and we want to dress more glam and more sparkles and sequins, all of that. I think the metallic shade, silver shades in shoes, in sandals, in bags, like I'm gonna see a lot of that. I don't know why, but I've been seeing a couple of it popping up and I really love the metallic finish. I personally don't think I'll get into this trend because I'm more of a gold person. That goes for my jewelry or my attire as well. Like I don't really see myself wearing that much silver, but I think for for the winter season, like during the Christmas season, I think shades of silver is going to be really, really beautiful. Another trend that I have been seeing a lot lately are slouchy knee-high boots. Knee-high boots I have mentioned in my, I think it was my spring fashion trends video. More of like that go-go boot style, but I've been seeing a lot of like a slouchier version of it. A lot more casual, a lot more day-to-day -day kind of shoe rather than that really high heel block style, go-go style. I personally don't think I will be into the slouchy knee-high boot style. I really, really like the go-go boots. I just see it more with a lot of my outfits rather than the slouchier style. Next trend that I've been seeing a lot lately are the opera gloves or like detached sleeves. I think it's really cool. It's very, I don't even know how to describe it, like very retro-esque or 50s. I don't know which era it came from, but I think some people can really, really pull it off and I think it looks really dope. I don't think it's practical, but I think for photo taking or if you're going to a party or an event, I think you would look super, super cool. This is again another trend that I don't personally see myself participating in just because I, I like to be comfortable, I like to be practical, and I really just like sticking to trends that I know are more of my style. Another trend that I've been seeing a lot lately are are cropped blazers. This one I can definitely see myself kind of participating in because I love my blazers. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy a cropped blazer from the store. You can of course go to your local thrift store and crop yourself a oversized blazer. I think it just adds a more modern take to the regular 
blazer that you would normally wear. I think it's really just like an edgier version of a blazer. And I love the ones that are kind of slightly oversized. Another trend that I've been seeing a lot lately are slouchy low-rise jeans. Low-rise jeans have been slowly making its comeback since probably spring 2021, especially the Y2K 2000 style. Like a lot of girls have been really into the low-rise jeans and I have been very, very outspoken about how I don't like the low-rise jeans trend, but I think that a lot of people can rock it. I think people style it in their own ways and they can really pull it off. I just personally don't think I can and I don't feel comfortable in low-rise jeans. I know in the 90s, it was very much baggy mom jeans, baggy boyfriend jeans, and I think like the low-rise version of that is gonna be really cool again very comfortable because it's not constricting it's not too tight on you and it just gives a more effortless more casual vibe to it next trend that I think is gonna be really popular are funky tights I've mentioned the tights trend I think it was my spring or my summer I'm not really sure I do feel like the tights are gonna make a booming comeback in the fall and winter season. I think we're gonna see a lot more bolder colors. We're gonna see we're gonna see a lot of greens, a lot of blues, a lot of pinks, and of course a more funkier design on the tights. I think it's gonna be another fun take and just you know, bringing in more of that funky 60s retro style that I have been really loving. Another trend that I wanna mention is quilting. I've seen a lot of quilting jackets, a lot of quilted pants. I'm not really sure about this trend, to be honest. I am not really for it. It gives me like grandma core style, um, but I can see why a lot of people like it. I think it's really like funky in a way. It's also just really, really unique. And yeah, I can totally see it coming in the fall and the winter season. It's a very comfortable looking fabric, especially the jackets version. I think it looks very cozy, just really comfortable and warm. So I could see why it could be a thing in the fall and winter season. Another trend that I want to mention are leather bomber jackets or varsity jackets. I have seen Bella Hadid or Hailey Bieber wearing it a lot lately and I think it looks super dope. I love the oversized version of it. I think it looks really really cool with some baggy jeans and some sneakers with your hair slicked back. I think it's just such a vibe and again very comfortable and warm and we're all about the oversized to be honest. I love everything oversized. It just gets really cold really fast and I just want anything big and warm to be thrown over me. I think the leather bomber jackets are just another kind of like gives me 2010s vibes because we were kind of into that style during that era but it was more fitted and now it's a lot more oversized a lot more casual and just a lot more slouchier and i am so for that style i think it looks super super cool okay next trend that I've been seeing a lot lately are curtain reveal tops. These kind of came in early or late 2020, early 2021. I've seen a couple people doing it. It's been resurfacing because Bella Hadid has been wearing it. Kendall Jenner has been wearing it. All of the It girls have been wearing this type of top. Obviously, if you are a little bit more bigger chested, it's not going to be 100% secure. It's gonna be a little bit too revealing. At least even for me, it's a little too revealing for me and I don't think I will go and be a part of this trend, but I think for the flat chested girls out there, totally get into it because it looks so sick. It looks so sexy, so hot. Okay, this one is kind of an obvious one I would say because it's been kind of popping up everywhere in many, many stores already and it is puffy accessories. So that is puffy tote bags, puffy sandals, puffy shoes, puffy hats. I don't know how how I feel about it. I don't really like the puffy bucket hats. I think it's a little it's a little much for me but the puffy tote bags I think it looks really cool I think it looks very big and just useful like I would probably use it for school to be honest because the ones I've seen have been really big and I think it looks cool <laughs> I don't even know what else to say okay another accessories trend that I've been seeing a lot lately are beaded and metallic bags I feel like I've mentioned this in my previous trends video but we are again gonna kind of go all out this year and I feel like that's how it's gonna be from now on because we were just so held back in 2020. I feel like a lot of the boring 20s era with the accessories like the beaded handbags, metallic bags, those are going to kind of trickle its way in if not have already come in. Also we're going to see some fringe bags coming into play. I've already started to see fringe in general coming back. Like I've seen fringe jeans, fringe jackets, which again looks super super cool. It kind of takes inspiration from the whole western style that 
everybody's been kind of into this summer season which is another trend I know I'm kind of like going all over the place but that is again another trend that I want to mention is the western style so i have my trusty old western cowboy boot button up that i thrifted and this is probably like the furthest i would go to that cowboy boot trend but some of the girls out here have been really killing it it just looks so good on them and they just pull it off so well i just don't personally think like it's my style another trend that i want to talk about are chunky loafer shoes these are kind of you know from the prada loafer shoes the very chunky ones that was very popular at one point i forget when but that is still gonna be a very big thing in the fall season anything like chunky shoe wise is gonna be in those chunky kind of over the knee high boots with the i don't know what kind of sole it looks like you'll see in the picture but it's it's a very chunky sole chunky sneakers are still gonna be in this season just a lot more platform in our shoes that's what i'm trying to say a lot more platform another friend that i want to mention is kind of a staple piece or kind of just a given but it is jumbo cable knit sweaters or just jumbo cable knits in general whether that's sweater vest or just like a regular sweater or a cardigan okay another trend that i've been seeing a lot lately are oversized shoulder padded blazers i like this but i like it when it's not too overboard because i already have very broad shoulders and i'm sure a lot of people can relate but i love the look of it i love the, the whole structure it gives and i think it looks dope but i have seen a couple of the blazers that i that i just don't like because it's it's a little too sharp in the shoulder area and you know i think that's too much i just like the casual ones that i've seen on from the thrift store or whatnot those are really nice because they're not super padded they don't look too bulky on the shoulders another trend that i want to be talking about are retro 70s printed sweaters or button downs so something like really funky i'm still really into button downs i love the fall season because i get to show off all of my button downs and you can find a lot of cool printed ones at your local thrift store i love the ones that are very funky kind of psychedelic looking it's kind of like that 60s swirl mod style vibe and these next two that i want to mention are colors combined together that i think would look so cool in the fall season and i've already seen a couple styles of these two colors together so the first one is yellow and brown style together i feel like that looks super vintage like very very 70s it's like the color combination of yellow and brown looks really warm and cozy to me and i can definitely see that in the fall season coming up another two colors that i really like together are blue and brown i think just browns in general is gonna thrive in the fall season of course like dark browns or any shade of brown but blue and brown looks so nice together i i never even thought of like pairing blue with brown but i've seen a couple pictures and i really like it i really like the blues and browns especially like royal deep blue with a dark brown <sighs> I love that. I think it looks so nice and very like refreshing in a way. I don't normally see those two colors together. Okay, this one's like a style that I want to talk about, but dresses with boots, cowboy boots, knee-high boots, chunky boots, any type of boots with dresses, I feel like that's going to be a thing. I know like people have already been wearing those types of style every fall season, but I just have a feeling the cowboy boots are going to thrive with dresses. Again, with that western style. I think it's still gonna be booming and it's still gonna be really popular. Another style I wanna mention that I feel like is not gonna go away because the reboot of Gossip Girl and whatnot, the preppy style still thrives. The plaid skirts, the button downs, just all of that is still gonna come into play and I, I was never really into that style but I think it's super adorable and I think it's really cute and a lot of the girls have been able to pull it off again. I say that all the time because some of the styles that I don't necessarily like, a lot of you guys have been pulling off and it just looks so good and I love being able to like look at people's fashion sense and just be like wow she is killing it okay and the last thing i want to mention are canvas tote bags or large shopper bags i have been super super into this friend i've been into it since the summer and i bought a lot of cute printed tote bags since then but i think tote bags in general are going to be really popular especially if you are heading to the city or if you go to work or if you go to school which i'm about to go to soon i just think tote bags are just really practical they're easy to throw everything in your laptop your notebooks everything can fit 
in a tote bag and you can buy so many different styles and they're quite affordable i'll link some of the websites that i personally love the tote bags from um on the description box all right guys that is pretty much all of the fall fashion trends 2021 edition that i want to talk about this season if i missed anything definitely leave a comment down below what style you're looking forward to or what styles you've seen or trends that you've seen around lately that you think is gonna trickle its way into the fall and winter season but yeah i'm so excited to kind of incorporate a lot more of these trends into my current style and i'm just excited for the fall season in general i know i said that already but i am just so excited for cooler weather i'm sick and tired of the heat hope you guys enjoyed this week's video also update I'm probably gonna be posting only once a week i'll try to post twice a week if i can with school coming back i don't know if i'll have the time to film and edit two videos a week so i will try but as of right now i'll only be posting once a week and see how it goes along the way so be sure to subscribe to the channel and push that post notification button on the side so you get notified whenever i do post and i think that is pretty much it for this week's video thank you again for watching i will see you when i see you bye